Since the day after Christmas, Charlotte County has experienced four major crimes, resulting in the death of five individuals. My thoughts and prayers go out to the families left behind that must now deal with the aftermath. Since that time, my detectives, my forensics team, many of my staff have been working tirelessly, tirelessly and have done some outstanding work in these investigations. Now, I know we were tight-lipped on a couple of these cases, and we asked for the community's trust. Under the circumstances, I know that that was a heavy ask, but any tip of our hand could ruin a case. And I can assure you that at any time that I felt that the public was in danger, I would have released anything and everything to make sure that they were safe. So I want to thank our residents for trusting in my office and for trusting in me. Now I want to give you a very brief update on the Trails End murders of Anthony Galliotti and Mario Shiani back on January 24th. We responded out to that residence after receiving a 911 call from a worker in the area who was asked to check the residence after Kelly Shiano described to him that she had heard gunshots. He had entered the residence and found the two males shot to death. Since that time, we have been collecting evidence, we have been conducting searches, we've been conducting interviews, we've been following multiple leads. Some of those leads also followed us, took my detectives outside the state of Florida where they conducted the investigation. All of this ended up leading to us obtaining warrants for Kelly Shiano, Mario's wife, and his worker, Everett Harper. Now let me back up a little bit. During this investigation, it was learned that both Anthony and Mario were very heavy into the drug trade. So this conspiracy all fell around drugs, and money. Now I will try and answer some of your questions, but I'm not going to get into the weeds in this case because it is still very active and there's still a lot of moving parts to this. And you must understand that, like I stated before, we're not going to tip our hand and jeopardize the case. So with that, I'll open it up to some questions. I'm not going to compliment on that right now. You guys must understand that if, if there is another individual or individuals responsible out there, I think we're all in agreement that you would like us to catch them, correct? So I'm not going to reveal certain information to you because we don't need to get it out there until we know it's not going to jeopardize the case. And I hope you all do understand that. From what we can tell, they were both targeted. And do we know any motive or relationship between Kelly and Everett? Uh, they were just close friends. And like I said, they're, they conspired due to the drugs and the money. Do we know that they were killed on the same day that they were found? Yes, they were. Now, all these are isolated incidents, but are they still of concern with the sheriff's office as far as public any major crimes, especially where somebody is murdered, is we take them very seriously. And I believe my staff does an excellent job with these cases. Um, this case will come to an eventual close with all parties held responsible. Uh, just like the other cases are, we still have another case that's outstanding that we do believe that that's going to come to a close in the very near future. The next steps is we continue to work with the state attorney's office. Uh, we continue processing evidence. There may be some additional searches uh, so we can build the case against any other individuals that might be involved. Who made the 911 call? It was a worker in the area. We don't know their identity? Yes, we do. Did you no. Um, what evidence was the Kelly Shiano arrest? I'm not discussing that right now. Hence the reason why the affidavit is sealed. The motive of the conspiracy and any other suspects to be arrested 
No, ma'am. Are they cooperative? I'm not going to comment on that right now. What's been the most challenging part about this as a participant? Uh, the most challenging part is just there's so many moving pieces. I mean, we were out at that residence for, I believe, 10 days just collecting evidence, doing searches. It was a 10 acre, 10 acre parcel. And uh, like I said, it took us outside the state of Florida. So there are a lot of moving parts to this. And we had detectives going in all different directions. No. You guys have a lot of resources out there, Marine Patrol, Animal Patrol, Aviation. Can you share a little bit about the role they play in this investigation? Well, there are some lakes. We also have a vast uh, amount of property that needed to be searched, so we needed to do grid searches. So we had to bring personnel in that are able to cover those areas and also allow our detectives to continue what they need to do and not worry about the search portion of it. What kind of evidence did you find? I'm not going to discuss that. inside the home. Sheriff, I know that you are pressed for time and I don't want to run this too long, so if you do have any closing statement that you'd like to give, this might be a good opportunity. Yes, I just want to put out there, like with this case or any case, if anybody has any information, please don't hesitate to call the Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Every little bit helps. And the way we keep our community safe is by working together. So thank you very much, everybody, and God bless.